Discovery's interface should have a familiar feel with the traditional ribbon at the top and tabs organizing the tools by application. You may find some tools have moved to new locations to streamline common workflows. For example, the design, sketch, and assembly tools have been merged into the design tab with a new self-expanding ribbon that shows and hides tools like the sketch constraints depending on the mode you're in. Insert file and the script editor have been moved to the file menu. The facets tab now has the reverse engineering tools alongside the tools for editing faceted bodies. The repair tab now has the check geometry tool, which has a new automated repair function. Prepare has a new tool for detecting geometry that can often lead to meshing issues, along with a streamlined and more reliable shared topology workflow. Finally, there is a new tab for sub-D modeling, which allows the modification and creation of organic bodies. These topics will be discussed in more detail in the next section. The model tree has been expanded to have toggles not just for visibility, but also for color and whether the object will be included in the discovery or flagship simulation. There are also new level lines to help better visualize the hierarchy of the assembly in the model tree. You'll also find at the top of the tree the icon for history tracking, formerly the block recording button in the design tab. Below the model tree, you'll find the physics tree, where any assigned materials are listed, and selecting them will highlight the bodies with that material. Below the tree is the view arc, which has many expanded controls. The obvious ones are in the ring, starting with the shading method, home view, standard views, a new color by material, and a transparency toggle. You can still click on arrows to orient, or the circle to rotate 90 degrees, or dynamically rotate, but now you can click on edges and vertices of the cube for more default views. If you get into a view you want to easily return to or capture during a discovery simulation optimization study, you can use save scenes in the upper right. This saves the orientation in which bodies are visible, along with results displayed and more from discovery simulations. Saving the most impactful UI change for last is the new hex, halo, and HUD or heads-up display. The HUD is comprised of two halves, which you'll see once you select something or turn on a tool. While in the select tool, the right half will allow you to change color or transparency and properties, including face type and appearance. If you select a solid with triple click or other methods, you can change the material from the HUD. The left side is the hex, which gives you the quickest access to a halo of common modeling, selection, and also boundary condition tools for discovery simulation. You can continue to use the ribbon, keyboard, or mouse gestures to activate tools, or you may find when you click on something that the hex gives you the quickest access to common tools. Once a tool is activated, both sides of the HUD expand, providing the tool guides on the left and the tool options on the right. On the right above options, you can drag the HUD around or collapse some or all of the options. Some options may not be visible, until a tool is further set up, i.e. the revolve options will not show until a revolve axis is specified. Notice that color, transparency, and properties are hidden while tools other than select are activated. You can change the HUD spacing in discovery settings to make it wider or more compact. Once you start using the tools, you'll find the HUD is a great improvement over having the tool guides and tool options both over on the left. There is less mouse movement to get to the tool guides and options because they are where you need them. They are more discoverable and a reminder of the different toggles you have for the tool. There is built-in logic like the HUD becomes hidden while holding the control key to select multiple things. You'll also like how the tool guides are now organized in rows as opposed to two columns.